this video, I'm going to demonstrate the usage of the Menu Swapper WordPress plugin to change the menu that is displayed on a particular page. So first, a quick overview on how the WordPress menu system works. Themes register theme locations for use within theme templates. These theme locations appear within the Appearance menu screen in the Theme Location meta box. So you can see this theme, for instance, has one theme location called Primary Menu. You can then assign a menu to a theme location. So if you have two or three menus, you can choose from which one you want to display in that theme location. The theme then inserts the menu into the, the menu assigned to that location into the template with the WP nav menu function. This is normally found in the header.php and would look something like this. You can see how the theme location parameter is passed and it matches the theme location that appears in the appearance menu screen. The result is that you generally have the same menu on every page of your site. So here's the home page, and here's the about page, and you can see that they have the same four menu items appearing, and those are the four menu items from this regular menu. If you want to use different menu items on different pages, you need to create custom header.php files, register multiple theme locations, call them with WP nav menu, and then include the custom header.php files in your templates. It's not very difficult, but for those who aren't coders, it can be confusing. The menu swapper allows you to register custom theme locations and then swap them out on different pages and posts of your site all through the WordPress admin panel. That makes it easy to keep the default menu on the home page, but, a spe but use a special menu on the about page. So here's how we would do that. First, we'll go to our plugins page and we'll activate the menu swapper. Then we'll go to settings, menu swapper. And here's where we can register uh, all of our custom theme locations. So you can register as many as you want. And it's important to make sure that the slug that you use is unique um, so that it doesn't conflict with any other registered theme locations. So I would recommend uh, prefixing any of your uh, menu swapper locations with MSWP underscore, just to make sure that they're unique. So um, this is preloaded with just uh, some uh, sample slug in name, but we can rename this whatever we want. So let's call it uh, special location and change the name. Uh, you could also add additional locations if you wanted to, but we're not going to do that for now. So we'll save our changes. And now when we go to appearance menus, you'll see that our new theme location, special location, is now here. So we can assign a secondary menu to this location. So we have this uh, second menu called special menu. You can see it has different menu items from the, from the regular menu. And we'll assign that to the special location. And then we'll save it. Now, at this point, we still have the same menu on the home and the about page. But let's say we want the about page to show the special menu. So we'll go ahead and edit this page. And on the edit page screen, you'll see that there is a menu swapper meta box. And right here, we just tell it which theme location we want to be replaced and which theme location should replace the original theme location. So the original theme location is called primary. The primary menu is what's normally displayed and that's what we want to replace. And the new theme location is our special location. So we want to replace the primary menu with the special location. Now we just update our page and we'll view the page again and now you can see that we have a completely different set of menu items here because we're displaying the special menu instead of the regular menu and if we refresh the home page you can see that the home page is still displaying uh, the regular menu so the home page is displaying the primary menu theme location and the about page is displaying our special location that we just registered um, through the menu swapper plugin. And that's about it. You can go back and um, 
register as as many theme locations as you want. Um, you know, maybe you have a special one for your forums. And you'll see that it automatically gets added to the theme locations box and you can assign whatever you want to it. So that's it. It's pretty simple to use and uh, gives you a little more flexibility with, um, without having to do any extra coding. Hope you find that useful.